Hey, what's going on guys, it's the OG. I asked you guys on Twitter what you think is Path of Exile's biggest problem right now that Grinding Gear Games needs to solve. From your answers I compiled a list of Path of Exile's top 5 problems and in this video I will give a solution to all of them. Yes, that is right. Having played the game for many years perfectly qualifies me to be absolutely and objectively correct when it comes to the solution on every issue the game has. You might think that the people who have been actually making the game for an even longer period of time would know better, but everyone knows making games is easy, playing them is hard. That's how easy being a developer is when you are not actually a developer. Because I am an armchair developer. As an armchair dev, I have infinite budget, infinite time and infinite brain power. So without further ado, on to solve problem number one. This is an issue raised by no other than Ziggy D. He tweeted, Good day mate, gameplay fatigue, coming from excessive clicks, awkward to pick up items, spammy flasks, etc. Reducing hand strain and general exhaustion will help people play longer and more happily. Good day mate. What a fantastic point that many of you agree with. And the best thing is, we all know the solution to this, including GGG. And that is also what makes this issue so frustrating. Just make items drop more like this, instead of this. Just make a keybind for multiple flasks. Or legalize this and sell popsicle sticks with a PoE logo as a supporter pack goodie. Easy money GGG. So why don't GGG just do this then? For the flasks, I have no fucking clue to be honest. This even eludes an armchair developer with infinite brain power. It makes literally zero sense and since they probably can't catch anyone using highly illegal popsicle sticks anyhow, why even try to enforce it? But for the splinter and awkward spammy pickup problem, we know the reason GGG has not done what the competition, for example last epoch, have achieved long time ago. And that reason is… wait. I get it, having to sacrifice my own health for clawing together items off the ground makes me value these items higher, knowing the time I can keep doing this is limited and that I should treasure my own joint health while I still have it. This adds so called weight to the items, which is much more important to grinding gear games than their customers well being. After all, while you need to repeatedly click to play the game, you don't need to repeat many clicks to buy a supporter pack. Now how could we keep the weight of the items without destroying your joints? As an armchair developer, I of course have the solution. Offering it here to GGG free of charge because that's just how nice of a person I am. So let us think for a moment. How does the weight of an item get simulated in Path of Exile? Exactly, by how much slots it uses up in the inventory. A heavy chest armor for example uses up 6 slots, while a ring only uses 1. And following this already pre-established logic, I present you the solution to having splinters drop like this instead of this, without losing any weight. On to problem number two. Man, this is so easy. Trade. The trade API being unreliable and slow, having to use a website to trade, price fixers, scammers, non-responders running rampant. And I was actually surprised to see this brought up, as GGG has already solved this issue. Alright, but what if solo cell found is not for you? Well. If you do not enjoy SSF over trade in the current state of the game, you clearly do not value meaningful character progression and instead just want to be powerful and destroy the game. In that case, we should just have a third trade game mode. Aside from normal trade hardcore and soft colleagues, alongside the SSF hardcore and soft colleagues, we now also get Turbo Capitalism hardcore and soft colleagues, featuring an auction house, fully in-game supported tradable bench and harvest crafts, corrupting chambers, divine fonts, mirror services, and more. This economy will be abused so hard by the 0.1% of top players, it'll almost feel like real life. In fact, you will be able to pay your rent in Exalted Orbs, because RMT and botting will be so common. You won't be able to tell the difference between Exalted Orbs and Dollar Bills anymore anyways. You will even be able to opt in to having your TFT vouchers be part of your real life credit score. And for those of you who don't like it there, there's always SSF. On to problem number 3. Now this is an issue only a very small fraction of the player base, a rare species, of PoE players called a hardcore player, can relate to. When you disconnect in Path of Exile, there is a 6 second timer until the game kicks you out. 6 seconds in which your character can be damaged and killed brutally by any white mob wandering around. 
Disconnect deaths are one of the worst things that can happen to any hardcore player and their characters. Which is why 9 out of 10 of the remaining hardcore players would like this timer to be shorter. However, making this timer shorter will lead to people being kicked out more often instead of just lagging. How short you can set this timer while maintaining playability depends on your connection. So why don't we just make it so that you can set the connection timer yourself to a value of your choice, test out what works best for you and stick to that individual value. Well, are you ready for some grinding gear logic? As with everything in PoE, people will blindly follow what streamers do. And since most streamers will have good internet connections, they'll recommend lower timer values. Since setting your timer to low will keep you getting disconnected from the game, people will then start complaining on Reddit and bothering customer support, creating negative feedback everywhere and creating a lot of busy work for GGG. So grinding gear games are basically afraid that most of their player base are simply too stupid to set the correct number. So everyone is stuck with a 6 second timer. Armchair lead developer Yoji of course has the solution for you. He even has two solutions. The first one. To change the value of the disconnect timer, you first have to solve an entry level Sudoku. That way we weed out the complete dumb fucks and GGG support should be safe from getting spammed. Alternatively, only allow players to change the value for hardcore. That way only 10 players are affected and all the softcore players don't really care about dying to disconnects anyways. Since we are all dying to having shit builds instead. Man, this job is so easy. Well, on to the next issue. Problem number 4. A lot of people seem to dislike having to use third party tools, such as the PoE Wiki, Path of Building, Filter Blade, Mercury Trade and so on, to fully enjoy and get the most out of the game. Well, how do you make third party tools first party tools? You buy them and hire the people making them. So GGG should just hire the creators and buy all the tools to make them first party, like they did with OpenR, the creator of Path of Building. Look how well that turned out. What do you mean killed all development for it until a different third party group picked it up as a fork and made it absolutely amazing and while all that happened we didn't even get proper tooltips in game even with open R working for GG? Hmm, maybe, just maybe, third party development isn't even a problem to begin with as it is actually better than first party development. That brings me to problem number 5 which I will solve together with problem number 4. So since we already established third party developers are way better than first party developers and the fifth problem being a programming one performance i got the perfect solution to solve all of it ggg fires all the developers so they can work on the game as a third party developer team to make the game way better without any stupid constraints from working for a company or having chinese overlords and with that i now solved the top five issues path of exile currently has from my armchair developer position Subscribe for more Path of Exile memes. I'm Yoji, and I will see you soon.